Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Wendy. I write speculative fiction and horror. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for coming. I today's video is going to be a quick um, notion tour. I did this video at the beginning of January, and then I went to go edit it, and you will see a repetitive uh, thing about this in my vlog coming up as well. I went to go edit it, and the volume was not on. I am having the worst luck with volume here recently. I don't know what's going on. So, this is the second time I filmed this. This is going to be my Notion tour for the year. This is what I'm using for the year. I'm getting most of the kinks out of it now. Finally, after I've been playing with it way too much. So, anyways, <clears throat> starting off, you may or may not recognize this page. It is almost exactly the same as it was last year. I've added a few things to it, but otherwise, it's pretty much the same as it was last year. It's a big old chaos compactor. Everything all in one place where I can look at it daily because that is my thing. If I don't see it, out of sight, out of mind. If it doesn't, if I don't see it, it doesn't exist. That is my brain. I'm sorry. So, to start off, I have my little weather app up here. My I'm not spoiled, just living the life to which I've been accustomed. Uh, quote that I have in everything, I think, everywhere. That is my motto. I'm not spoiled. I'm just living the life I've become accustomed to. Um, moving on. So as you can see, this is my habit tracker, all in one go. Um, when okay, so how this works? This is I got this from Chris Notion. I watched uh, his tutorial on how to make this. If you wish to do that, I will leave the link for his uh, Notion YouTube down below. He's got a ton of free uh, trackers, a ton of free templates, a ton of free tutorials on how to do all of this. He's amazing at explaining things. I absolutely love him. But what this does, and this is really, really cool, and you'll see this, is when I click on, like I click on Friday, this will pop up. And then I click today's date, add the week. This will show you what week you're in for the entire year and your progress for your habits for the entire year. And then you go down here, click good habits. They will auto populate bad habits. So they will auto populate the good habits, the bad habits. And then as you click them off, like today, I've already worked out and I'm doing in like this and then these will upgrade as well as these really cool right I haven't read some pages yet but I have worked out okay now let's say for instance you have different habits to follow on different days so like Saturday and Sunday I'm not home at all so like on Saturday I have my weekend habits just read 10 pages there they goes oh too many I gotta go back in and fix that later, but different habits for the weekend so that way you can still make progress and not completely fail at everything, right? Okay, so yeah, that's really cool, right? So it's on Friday, all the habits are here on the page, and then if you go up, click on the daily habits button, this is a whole nother page completely different page and it's got all the same habits right here and like I was showing you with the Friday progress your weeks pop up here current week your months that you have listed here are all pop up and they'll show you your progress through the month through the quarter each separate quarter and then give it a minute through the year the entire year. This took like a good hour and a half to fully set up following his um thing. It's like a 30-40 minute video but it took me long because you have to do all the steps. So but this is really cool and I really really love this little habit tracker. I am absolutely in love with this and when you're done with the whole week when it's a brand new week you just press new week and all of this gets populated again. Okay so on the habit and then the buttons over here too. I really probably don't need those, but all the buttons over here, I have that. And then if you go down, I have my workout slash 
gym progress log because I have been, like I said in my goals video, I have been wanting to lose the remaining weight. I have like 40 pounds left to lose. And so this is my progress thing right here. Like today, I click on this. I worked out. I did a 15 minute app. Just type it in. App workout. I did. I don't even know. Strength, I guess, is what it is. I did it for 15 minutes because I got irritated. I didn't want to do it anymore. I could put the link to the video if I wanted to. Did it at home. Click it to my progress tracker. Now, the time thing is important because it shows up here, but then when I go into my progress tracker, total workout time 201 minutes for this year and so my progress tracker my starting weight my current weight my goal how much I want to lose and yeah and this is the progress bar for that so for the weight loss I'm 53% there people I'm halfway there we're gonna do this and then I can add a photo if I wanted to but do this and then click over here and you see the routines and I could probably filter these out with the URLs and everything else. So this is really simple. I didn't overcomplicate it. I didn't want anything overcomplicated. It's just here. Okay, right here with my habit tracker so I can keep up with it. Going back to my Chaos Compactor page, my main page. Um, if you scroll down a little more, you will see my quarterly goals. Lose 15 pounds. I'm not doing good with this. Lose 15 pounds. Read simple Spanish stories. I'm progressing in that. Be ready to query, publish stories by second quarter, and get 100 subscribers on YouTube. These things are happening, and I will show you where all this is happening at. Um, over here in my goals page. This all again, and then these are like smaller goals that I wanted to focus on. Confidently speak Korean, that means taking an italki courses and learning more of that. Family time and volunteer. These are the four main ones that I am focusing on for the whole year. These are the yearly goals, is what these are. These are the year, I'm pointing at it like y'all can see, are the yearly goals. All right here. Go down here, this is the quarterly goals, what I'm focusing on for this. And then the quarterly tasks. And as you can see, beta readers, I did that. I can technically click that as a completed. And I'll show you where that goes here in a minute. Revise serial possession. Still needs to be done. Rewriting blood in the air. I'm doing that now. I have half of this done. So I could put like a thousand. I have maybe a thousand words. I have like half of it done. For this quarter, write one short story per quarter. I have that. Filming videos is becoming a task because for whatever reason, I keep forgetting to check the volume. That's a whole thing. So... <laughs> Oy. Anyways, filming videos, putting out content, that is a thing. Working out, I've done this now two days, so that's a 17%. I have not prepped any meals. I, I don't know why I put meal prep on there. I'm never going to meal prep. I eat the same thing every single day. It is what it is. And then I've lost like a whole two pounds since this whole thing started. And then my progress for simple Spanish. Now when I'm done with the goal, I'm done with the goal, it's supposed to show up down here. I don't know why it's not. I checked. I checked. I don't know. I'll have to, um, not gallery, table, maybe? Okay, well it's supposed to show up down here. I'll have to fidget with that and figure out where that's going. But yeah, on top of this. And then it can look like this, or you can keep it like this. I like it better like this. And then when, um, and then on each of these things, it's just nothing. Nothing, nothing. When you go into the top one here, it's a list of things to do to get you to your main goal. But otherwise. And then down here on the side, I have... When I'm feeling like I need to unplug and stop and like I'm drained, like completely drained, you know how that happens. I have a list of options that I can do 
listen to a true crime podcast, play a game, plan something. I've gotten into playing with Notion here recently. That's my downtime is I play with Notion to learn more about Notion. Read something. I have so many books on my shelf that I keep buying and not reading. So read something. Play a game. Do something. Right? Not complicated. And then I have a monthly reflection page which I can click on and it will just and I can sit here and just write out the victories, what I did, memorial moments, yada yada yada. I can also do this in my journal. Not really my journal. I do still have like let me get it, I have so much stuff. I do still have a physical planner because writing things out as opposed to looking at a computer all the time really helps clear the mind. So I do still have a physical planner. But this is what I have for this. So that's the goals page. Moving on from there. Okay, so moving on from there is my finance page. And this is just kind of a um, rough overview of something that I created. I threw together. I just wanted something where I can keep track of my income, my bills, and my subscriptions, and whether or not I paid them or not. So when a, ba when a bill is paid, I click paid. That's done. I ain't gotta worry about it. Because I forget if I pay bills or not. Don't ask. And then daily expenses. And this is something that I've been playing around with as well. I have, because I'm not fully happy with it, so. But this is a, just a, what do you call it? Example page. I've, I've already been filling in my actual one, so I didn't want to actually show y'all the um, my actual one. But this is the example page of what I've been using, and it's really put that in. The income comes down here to fifteen of salary, and then like today, and you look up here, and it updates total income. Well, yeah, yeah, you get the idea. And then the bills and everything. So, yeah, that's the thing. There it is going on with this. So, okay. Back to my chaos compactor. The little buttons up here. This is um, a simple sticky note thing, grocery list, links that I want to keep a hold of, to-do list, quick notes, whatever. Nothing fancy. And then this is a journal page. Let me go to full page. This is my journal for the year. I have up here the gallery view of the entries, daily entries, like this. These are obviously all examples. I haven't really played with this too much since I got it, since I set it up. But like for example, if I wanted to remember a day, a day was particularly special to me, I can click best day ever. And it'll pop up over here so I can look at it and then I got my mood tracker which I haven't been using I've been using on and off when I remember to use it but otherwise I haven't really been using it but this is really simple like today feeling okay like yesterday yesterday was my first um, italki class and I was a little nervous about it so I would be I'll put that down there today I'm feeling happy so there's just a copy and paste really simple non productive kind of really really simple I wanted to do a year in pixels and this is what I'm doing it over here is the motions wheel and then when I'm feeling down it's a list of things I can do to make myself feel better okay or whatever so this is a whole page but yeah go back home that's the journal the habit tracker there's the buttons for the habit tracker I like having buttons buttons are fun I like being able to press buttons don't come at me and then I created a content hub page to keep track of the goals of what I'm gonna do for each thing and and here, it's just a simple table view. Like, I'm Notion Tour. I can change this to filming it. Now, 
So that's in the filming process, planning process, editing process, scheduled, published. Down here, you can add links to marketing ideas and inspiration if you really wanted to. And I don't know what the progress bar for is. <laughs> I forgot what the progress bar is for, but it's the same thing for Instagram. Writing, planning, I guess you don't need filming in Instagram or whatever, and newsletter. These are content category categories. I can throw things down in here, like I think books. Yeah, see top five love stories for horror. I had an idea. I don't know where it went. I thought I had an idea. Did I put it in the wrong one? No. Oh. Is it in my Instagram? Oh, yeah. It was an idea. For real. How to be an author. Don't ask. You may or may not see that. I'll have to get to that. And then down here is just my quick calendar to show everything. What's going on with it. What I've done, what I haven't done, all that. It's really, really simple. I'm not trying to make anything complicated. I don't do complicated. The easier it is, the better off I am. Going back to the home page, I still have... Um, Notion recently came out with a Notion calendar. And so I put this here just in case I need to add. So the Notion calendar now, how that works, it was Cron, but now it's Notion calendar. You add this, you add something to this, and it will automatically show up on Cron, and when you update it, and then Cron links with Google Calendar. So you can have all three kind of together. Any calendar view that you have in your Notion will hook up with Cron, or Notion Calendar. It's Notion Calendar now, Wendy. So, and, yeah, so that's why there's a calendar view in here now, but I don't use it. I still much prefer this this little gadget thing anyways but I still have my little to-do list over here things I need to do writing things that I need to do um, over here is my must-haves I've kind of updated this not really you've seen the quarterly goals thing kind of updated over here so if you go in here you have my library the books I'm reading books I've finished I need to update this list these are the books that I want. It's not, again, really, really simple. I'm not looking for complicated. Really, really simple. Um, screen time, movies. This is the movie tracker that I recently put together. And I think I like it. I do. So this is um, the streaming services that I have. These are the movies that I've watched. Click to all. And you click on here to watch. I'm gonna watch the menu. Watching horror. I keep stopping this movie. I'm watching it. I'm like halfway through it. I'm watching it. Movies I've watched. And then when you click on the movie that you watched, you can rate it and you can add it to your favorites and it pops up down here under your favorites. TV shows too. Uh, down here it's the same thing for the TV shows. All together, things I wanna watch to watch, shows I wanna watch. Shows I'm watching and shows I've watched. I did um, put in what their, what their language is simply because um, I like to know, because I do watch like multiple language things. I'm sure a lot of people do. So the languages, so I know what I'm getting into. So there's that. Uh, eateries. Again, the areas. Click on here. This is really simple, and it's just a list of places that I want to go or places that I like to eat. That's it. Uh, okay. And then, oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. I didn't do that. Go back over here because I don't have a thing in there like I was supposed to. Um, okay. What's cooking? This is my recipe thing and jig that I threw together. It's really there's no meal plans done this is just a list this is the gallery view um beef tips the picture the link to the web page and then the recipe and the how to all the way down here that's it that's all that is and going down further screen time local eateries my travel planner i set this up i created this this was actually pretty fun to create and figure it out this has like a very generic packing list 
which you can see and like I travel a lot this is like expenses you click on this and it's a where to stay how to travel road trip all this you put your when you're in like say California I want to travel to California one day that's a whole thing go down here and you can click in the Airbnbs and the hotels that you're looking at their prices websites perks roll up whatever check out times same with the travel, how you're going to travel, road trip, gas, all that. Activities, what you're going to do, museums, tours, hiking trips, whatever. Food, places you want to eat, reservations, costs. So you can get an idea of what your vacation is going to cost before you actually do it. And then the contact information down is pictures that you can add to places that you want to go, places that you've been, whatever. This is the calendar show your whole trip along with an itinerary for the entire day you can just copy and paste this for every single day and then here is like a map a google map thing if you really wanted to do that so i did take the time to create this i gotta get back into the planner to create all of this and this is like your travel details plane time all that i told y'all i was having way too much fun the end of 2023 just playing with freaking notion over here and this is what I came up with I don't know if I ever use it but I have it whatever so yeah that's my travel planner for my notion and cooking and then my language hub has not changed much this is breaking on me I don't know why this is breaking on me being stupid that's today, no. Okay. So, again, the Korean up here, the resources, the books, the readings, free translation, Papago, vocabulary, yeah, grammar, and then listening practice session where I can do some listening practice. Spanish has the same thing. All the websites, books, etc. Vocabulary. I did create a new flashcard thing. And so all these flashcards are up here. And when I need to review them, they pop up down here. So that's a thing. See, they're not due until the 23rd. So that's a thing that I created. And yeah, grammar point speaking lesson, same thing. Focus. Oops. Go back to my language hub. And then down here is all of the everything that I've been focusing on for the past month. Anytime I've had a Spanish or Korean focus time, I'll do that. And that's what I like. What I created about this is the um, start stop button. Like say today I review flashcards, daily Spanish review flashcards. I can put a start time and then I can put a stop time and let's say that I did that for 40 minutes and it will show up here and it will show up here and then if I go where's the damn thing at time tracker on the time tracker it will show the full how many minutes in total I have studied all together for the whole year so time trackers and then that's the little Korean journal entries I was using to practice with alrighty so language hub sticky notes go back to the home page and I think that's everything that's the language hub the cooking the library travel planner the goals page my habit tracker my journal my sticky notes hi yeah yeah I've gone over everything this is my notion tracker for the year I have been using it quite frequently this past week or so past week for this past month or so I've been using it quite frequently keeping everything up to date and hopefully with um I'll be able to keep up with it throughout the year and see how far I get because the whole goal thing is based off of if you haven't noticed is based off the 12 week year and so Hopefully I can keep up with that. 
we will see how this goes. Lost my thing. Anyways. So yes, this is my Notion tour. This is my Notion for the year. I will see. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If not, let me know. What are you using to plan your year? To keep track of your things throughout the year? Um, are you keeping up with all of that? And I will see y'all all next time.